Welcome to the design and control of concrete mixtures. We will be covering chapter 6, aggregates for concrete. The discussion in this module will begin with the geology of aggregates. We will then cover the classification and characteristics of aggregates, followed by potentially harmful materials. Some time will be devoted to discussing alkali aggregate reactivity, and then we will wrap up with beneficiation handling and storage of aggregates. The proper selection of aggregates for use in concrete mixtures is critical to long-term concrete performance. Aggregates generally occupy 60% to 70% of the concrete volume and strong influence the concrete's fresh and hardened properties, mixture proportions, and economy. Aggregates must, must be clean, hard, strong, and durable particles that are largely free of absorbed chemicals, coatings of clay, and other fine materials and amounts that could affect hydration and bond of the cement paste. Fine aggregates generally consist of natural sand or crushed stone, with most particles smaller than 5 millimeters or 0.2 inches. Coarse aggregates typically consist of gravels, crushed stone, or a combination of both, with particles predominantly larger than 5 millimeters or 0.2 inches, and generally between uh, 3 eighths inch and 1 and a half inch. Close to half of the coarse aggregates used in concrete in North America are gravels. Concrete aggregates are a mixture of rocks and minerals. A mineral is a naturally occurring solid substance with an orderly, orderly internal structure and a chemical composition that ranges within narrow limits. A rock is generally composed of several minerals. Rocks are classified as igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic, depending on their geological origin. Aggregates are classified into the three categories, normal weight, light weight, shown in the picture on the right, and heavy weight. The approximate bulk density of, aggregate co of aggregates commonly used in normal weight concrete ranges from about 75 pounds per uh, cubic foot to 110 pounds per cubic foot, while lightweight concrete aggregates range from 35 pounds per cubic foot to 70 pounds per cubic foot, and heavyweight aggregates are typically over 2,100 kilograms or 130 pounds per cubic foot. This discussion focuses on normal weight aggregates. Lightweight and heavyweight aggregates are discussed in the module on special types of concrete. Normal weight aggregates are used for use in concrete include natural aggregate, manufactured aggregate, recycled concrete aggregate, and marine dredged aggregate. Gravel and sand are often a mixture of several minerals. Natural gra gravel and sand are usually dug or dredged from a pit, river, lake, or seabed. The quality or soundness of natural aggregate depends on the bedrock from which the particles were derived and the mechanism by which they were transported. Sand and gravel derived from igneous and metamorphic rocks tend to be sound, while sand and gravel derived from rocks rich in shale and siltstone are more likely to be unsound. Sand and gravel that have been smoothly smoothed by prolonged agitation in water usually are considered higher quality because they are harder and have a more rounded shape than less abraded sand and gravel. Manufactured aggregate is produced by crushing sound parent rock at stone crushing plants. Crushed air-cooled blast furnace slag is also used as fine or coarse aggregate. As a result of the crushing operation, manufactured aggregates often have a rough surface texture, are more angular in nature, tend to be cubical or elongated in shape, and more uniform in size. Manufactured aggregates 
are less likely than gravel and sand to be contaminated by deleterious substances such as clay, minerals, or organic matter. Recycled concrete is simply old concrete that has been crushed to produce aggregate. The procedure involves demolishing and removing the existing concrete, crushing the material in primary and secondary crushers, removing reinforced, reinforcing steel and other embedded items, grading and washing, and stockpiling the resulting coarse and fine aggregate. Recycled concrete aggregates aggregate is primarily used in pavement reconstruction. It has been satisfactorily used in aggregate as aggregate in granular subbase, lean concrete subbase, soil cement, and in new concrete as the primary source of aggregate as or as a partial replacement of new aggregate. Recycled concrete aggregate generally has a higher absorption and a lower specific gravity than conventional aggregate. Absorption values typically range from 3% to 10%, depending on the concrete being recycled. This absorption rate lies between those for natural and lightweight aggregate, shown in the graph to the left. Absorption rates increase as coarse particle size decreases. The particle shape of re recycled concrete aggregate is similar to crushed rock as shown on the picture to the right. New concrete made from recycled concrete aggregate generally has good durability. As with any new aggregate source, recycled concrete aggregate should be tested for durability, graduation, or gradation, and other properties. Marine dredged aggregate from tidal estuaries and sand and gravel from the seashore may be used with caution in concrete applications when other aggregate sources are not available. There are two primary concerns with aggregates obtained from seabeds. First, seashells and second, salt. Aggregate containing complete shells should be avoided as their presence may result in voids in the concrete and may lower the compressive strength. Marine dredged aggregates often contain salt, namely chlorides, from the seawater. The highest salt content occurs in sands located just above the high tide level. Generally, marine aggregates containing large amounts of chloride should not be used in reinforced concrete. The important characteristics of aggregates for concrete are listed here. Normal weight aggregates should meet the requirements of ASTM C33 or AASHTOM6 and AASHTOM80. These specifications limit the per permissible amounts of deleterious substances and provide requirements for aggregate characteristics. Service records are invaluable in evaluating aggregates. In the absence of a performance record, the aggregates should be tested before they are used in concrete. Grading is the particle size distribution of an aggregate, as determined by a sieve analysis. The range of particle size in aggregate is illustrated in this picture. The aggregate particle size is determined using wire mesh sieves with square openings. The seven standard ASTM C33 sieves for fine aggregate have openings ranging from 150 UM to 9.5 millimeters. The 13 standard sieves for coarse aggregate have openings ranging from 1.18 millimeters to 100 millimeters. Size numbers or grading sizes for coarse aggregates apply to the amounts of aggregate in percentages that pass through an assortment of sieves. The grading and grading limits are usually expressed as the percentage of material passing each sieve. This graph shows these limits for fine aggregate 
and for one specific size, size of coarse aggregate. Grading affects relative aggregate proportions as well as cement and water requirements, workability, pumpability, economy, porosity, shrinkage, and durability of concrete. Variations in grading can seriously affect the uniformity of concrete from batch to batch. In general, aggregates that do not have a large deficiency or excess of any size and give a smooth grading curve will produce the most satisfactory results.